Whoa! That was on happy. Oh, hold on. I need a replay on that one. He was in the left lane. I thought he was turning left. That's great. I'm a rolling stone bound to roam. Come the morning, or I'll be gone. Pouring rain, wanna oh, hear that train? There she comes. Won't you get home? playing his horn nate where you at where do you think i'm at i got a bone to pick with you my check bounced what do you mean your check bounced yeah my check bounced i have absolutely no money and you know what on top of that i got a fee because my check bounced explain yourself one sec you stay right there for one second okay i don't trust you oh no i'm in the hole 12 th okay so that, that makes sense so um farm may be in debt by twelve thousand dollars well i kind of figured that's being that my check bounced but you said that uh, I always get paid. You do. I didn't get paid. I'll pay you twice this week because we need to sell some grain. Well, you also owe me for my uh, fee that my bank hit me for, too. How much was it? It was 50 bucks. That ain't that bad. I'll pay for it. At the current state that you're sitting in? Are you sure about that? We're selling some grain today. Calm your little tail down. You realize that we haven't sold anything, okay? All we've done is spend, 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 spend. We've not sold anything because we're waiting for the right time to sell. Just calm down. It's okay. We'll get through this. And whose fault is that? I'm not anybody's. Every farmer gets tight this time of year. Yeah. Whose fault is it for spend, 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 spend? Uncle Sam's because he wanted me to pay taxes on oh, that. Oh my goodness. Let's go sell this grain so I can get paid. I got bills to pay too. Well, we got to go to breakfast first. What? Well, you're buying. I'm not paying for my own breakfast this time because I don't have any money. Go figure. Who are you going to coax into paying for breakfast this time? I was going to try to coax Happy into it. Hey, 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 hey. Give me a second. My truck's old. It takes it a minute to warm up. Where are we going to eat? I don't know. They just said in the new town. I don't know where in the new town. I just heard the new town. Oh, boy. Well, we're heading on down to go ahead, I guess. Yes, I said he's coming. We're at least going to go to Taco Bell and at least get something to eat. Oh, it looks happy already beat me here. How's it going, Happy? Oh, watch it. You almost hit me. Well, it was going good, and then you almost hit me. I mean, I could have sued you. That would have been fun. Could have got some money. What money? I'm broke. I'm $12,000 in debt. Are you really? Yeah. Well, I'm not joining your debt this time. I've had bad experiences. So, I heard you're paying today, but if you're broke, what's uh, what's happening then? You're getting a bottle of water and a crisp five five is what you're getting today. It's better than nothing. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> yeah. Where's Yosho at? He said he's coming. He should be down here in a little bit. All right. There he is. By the Finally. way, he's not happy with me at all. Why? His check bounce. Hit it really? Oh, gosh. Yeah. We may have to sell a little bit of green today. Good morning. Morning. I'll turn that frown upside down. Let's go ahead and get some bottles of water and a crisp high five. All right. You hear that, Happy? You hear how he treats me? I mean, all I heard was you said hi, and he said hi, and some about a frown. Okay, I see whose side you're on. I, I I didn't pick anybody's side. I just that's what I heard. Uh huh. All right, let's 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 get some food. Hopefully, you know you're paying there, Happy, because he ain't got no money. Oh no, we're me and him agree. We're just getting bottles of water, and you're getting a high five, and that's all you get for today. Yeah. Then I'm gonna go back to the house, go crawl back into bed. Then. No, we got work to do. Yeah. I, I ain't I'm getting paid today. today. Yes, you are getting paid. I told I told you we were gonna sell some grain, and that's how you're gonna get paid. I mean. Right. Are you sad your check bounced? Well, yeah, I'm sad. I haven't gotten paid for the hours I've worked already. Can you give him $850 and I'll pay you back to shut him up for the rest of the day? Yeah, I guess. Let me go get my wallet. Wow, you actually carry $850 on you? Wow. Yeah, that emergency fund, you know. I know Grab whose that. wallet I'm snagging whenever I get a chance. Hey, hey, <laughs> what, what? you out right now. <laughs> I know, it's just playing. Here you go. Here's your $850. Okay, all right. So what are we doing, boss? Selling grain. <laughs> Okay, let's get to work then. What are we eating? I thought Sorry. you're paying now. Now you have money. No, I say you have money now, so you're paying. Nope, nope. Remember, <laughs> you said earlier, when it's my turn, it's technically your turn. I remember that. Well, here's your bottle of water. Thank I got you, mine, and we're uh, we're gonna go to work. What you doing today? Uh, I'm getting me let's a crunchy see. wrap, a crunchy roll wrap. Or a I need to do thing? some tillage. Thank you. And some right. apple cider stuff. We've already done all of our tillage for the year. I'm gonna possibly go ahead and start pulling out my hydro stuff, get that looked at, and I gotta go look at a new field to. Day. oh you buying another field yeah yeah but but you're broke how are you buying a field if you're broke loans exist okay then you're more in debt all i can tell you is i'll make my money back 
All right. I've heard that saying a little too many times, but all right. I'll believe you. Let's go. Come on, Yosha. Oh, okay. Have fun. Right. Later. If you want to join us at all with helping setting stuff up, let me know, Happy. By the way, Yosha, I just got a text from Chris, and Chris told me that we can go ahead and MCI his grain dryer and start putting our corn in his dryer. Oh, you know you. Let's get to work. Well, right now, I'm taking my time getting everything moved. Yosha had to go take care of something for the rest of the day, so I'm going to go ahead and slowly start getting my stuff moved out of the way. Right now, we're moving both the headers so that we can go ahead and get those options augers out because we need to take two augers over there to chris's house on top of that we need to take the little pullover to chris's house as well just so we can go ahead and at least have everything ready to rock and roll because it's time for us to go ahead and start making some moves with our corn the best way for me to possibly do this would be just to kind of back up to it and just take them with this tractor one at a time it's still definitely a cold chilly morning out here ladies and gentlemen but we got to go ahead and keep on working because hopefully warmer days are coming and it's time for our corn to go ahead and get the best corn treatment of all and that's being heated up and dried out completely like they should be to that 15 percent so i still estimate they're at that like 16 percent ish mark so we need to bring it down to that 15. all righty so right now we're going to take chris's tractor and hook it up over here and it should be the last little piece we're missing to our equation and we should actually have everything set up and ready to roll as attended so i'm gonna leave everything sitting right here ready to rock and roll and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and walk back and get get a trailer full of corn i really hate to do this this is the only tractor that i can have quick access to without taking everything out that it has a good pto shaft this is about to get real fun real quickly so this auger right here normally don't see the light day for corn or augering at all but this year we just we just need it this year we can't afford not to go ahead and at least put it out here and get everything set up for it all righty so now that we got everything hooked up ready to go we gotta get over these trucks here hit that button and get this truck started so we can go ahead and start loading corn and there we go we have it loading up the first semi truck and we are good to go we'll go ahead and take this on and at least get the first load of corn dumped into the bins because i do know it's supposed to take some time so i'm not gonna be really worried about it let's kind of pull on into here to chris's yard back it on up into here let's go ahead and hit that unfold button on the tarp and there we go so basically this is how it works we take it from this run into here and it takes it into here kind of runs through the grain dryer dries out the corn then we'll run it from here back up into the trucks it's a mystery of a system but it's working and so as long as it's working i ain't complaining so once she starts producing some dry corn she'll load up into here she'll fall into the semi truck and then we'll have it plain as day running very smooth and efficiently and so while that's getting done over there i'm actually going to go ahead and fire that up drop my landing gear on this trailer we need to pull this on out and to attach it to one of these other two trailers we really need to go ahead and pull out all these trailers because now we're getting back into the summer so we can start putting up some of the other equipment in here for right now because i know there's a lot of bushels that need to be done uh there's at least 16 loads i believe that need to be done i'm just gonna sell one of the loads of corn just enough to get us out of debt so that we don't have to deal with debt any longer we're going to fill this first hopper up and fill that second hopper up because what we're doing is we're taking it straight from here to the sun core to at least fill it out get what we need out of it and make ourselves enough income to last enough money to make it to prime selling time we may sell two loads actually here we are good old sun core we'll pull on into here at least go ahead and at least sell one good old load of corn just to make sure we're making some income so that we can show you so we can keep him as an employee i have him currently over there watching the grain dryer unloading it slowly but surely so that we don't mess anything up but it's legitimately it's just going to take us hours and hours of sitting there babying the corn make sure the corn don't overheat it's just going to be a long process but we'll be worth it when we get that cash got my ticket here ticket says we have to go into door one so we'll slide over here to door one and go ahead and get lined up and go ahead start unloading there we go twenty five thousand dollars from that hopper and now this hopper we should get another twenty five thousand dollars which will put us in the green and firmly in the green so i don't ever worry about yosho coming back at me being mad at me so i can say this i want to make a gamble this year and i want to gamble on some new property 
property. There's this new plot of land that's come up for sale. It does have something already placed onto it. Let's go actually take a look at it. But it, it has a price tag. It has a price tag of $1,400,000-ish. And here is the field right here. So it does have sorghum planted now, but the farm owner said he kind of decided that he didn't want it anymore. So what we would do is we would just till it in the ground, let it sprawl a little bit, till it into the ground, and kind of go back over it with some of our own seed. They said they want $1,542,000. That's a big chunk of change for this farm. I think we do it. it. It's a really big size farm. And what we'll do is basically turn it into our perfect field and get the yield as high as we can so we can produce more money off of it, faster, better, stronger, do everything we gotta do. But I definitely think we make this purchase. I'm also looking at buying this, but I'm not 100% sold on it yet. Yeah, what I am sold on, these two fields right here, I've been talking to the owner of those two fields. He said that he can let them go with a lease of $30,000 a year on both those fields. I think that's a fair price to pay. So we are most definitely taking that up on lease as well. But we're going to end up buying that field right there. Let me go home and get some paperwork filled out. And let's go ahead and get our new field vault and purchased. And ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We went ahead and took out a loan. So we do now officially own field 22 and this over here. So 24, 16, and 9 are all officially underneath our name as well. So we can go ahead and start producing more acreage. Um, eventually, I do want to move a little bit up here. I don't see it happening this year uh that's just kind of what we're doing this center part we are about to till in because i think this year we're doing a community ordeal where we're doing a community test plot so it'd be interesting to see but ladies and gentlemen that's all the time we have for today guys and girls if y'all enjoy this series and y'all want us to keep it going please leave a like subscribe do what you do best but no further ado thank y'all from the bottom of my heart we'll see you next time peace